Hey guys, Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. In today's video, I'm gonna do two things that I vowed that I probably would never do. About a year ago, Canon introduced the EOS R, which is this camera right here. And I said that I would never buy one. And frankly, that's probably still true. I probably still won't buy one because as a paid professional wedding photographer, I need to have two memory card slots. I know Canon made a big media splash with this camera. And the thing they really pushed was the mount and the possibilities of the lenses they can make for the RF mount. And I have to say the lens mount is in fact a very encouraging sign and symbol for Canon because the next version of this camera body, when they come out with it, if it has two memory card slots, there's a really good chance that I may actually buy back into Canon because the one area where Canon has not fallen down is in their lenses. And so it goes with this lens right here. This is the RF 85 millimeter F1.2. And let me tell you right now, I love this lens. I mean, oh, oh, I just love it. It's just absolutely amazing. The image quality that I've gotten out of this thing over the last two and a half weeks has just been sublime. Unfortunately, the camera body it's attached to has some issues, but I'm hopeful that Canon with their next version of the EOS R or whatever the next Mark II is or whatever, does in fact have, some, has to have two memory card slots and does some ergonomical things I think would make this a much better combination. However, the lens itself is pretty amazing. Which leads us to the second thing that I thought I would never do, and that is we're actually gonna go on location and film a live portrait shoot with me utilizing the RF 85mm f1.2 and the EOS R on location photographing a model. And if you're curious to see how that turned out and how this whole thing went down, stick around and find out. This is a live model shoot. And for starters, Wayne, come on over here. This is our lovely and talented model. This is Maddie. She's gonna be the model today. Say hello, Maddie. Hi. Hi, perfect. Back over here, we have Hannah. She is my lovely and talented assistant, and I should say associate photographer that works with me at Darren Miles Photography. Check her out at New Frame Photography. And you can do it, is it at New Frame on Instagram as well? At New Frame Photo or New Frame Photography? at New Frame Photo. And last but not least, turn that thing around on yourself, Wayne. This is Wayne Linen, everybody. For those of you, actually here, give the, give the camera, camera to Hannah for a second. Yes, we are. This is Wayne Linen Jr. For many of you that have been watching my channel for a long time, Wayne is the guy who writes a lot of my music. So he finally gets a chance to make his debut today and introduce himself. Say hello, Wayne. He reminds me of Jordan from the camera store. All right, so let's talk about what we're doing in here today. We're gonna be lighting a model in a studio environment. Let me explain the lighting scenario for you. Over here, camera left, we have an Einstein set at about, it's almost full power. My camera that we're utilizing is, this, is the Canon EOS R with the 85 millimeter F1.2. The light is gonna be coming in from the side. A lot of it's gonna bounce off this big reflector right here, and it's gonna fill in the shadow side of Madison's face. So when we take these pictures, we're gonna run her through a bunch of poses, and I'm gonna show you what some of the results look like in here in this particular setup. Ready to roll? Let's do this thing. Okay, so as far as your pose goes, let's talk about this a little bit. I kinda of want you to just get, spread your legs apart just a little bit, shoulders back, postures, everything. You kinda of like touch your face like you just did a second right there. Hold that, just like that. Perfect. Of course, it might help if I actually flash the lights, right? Details, let's try that again, you ready? Perfect, let's see what we look like. Awesome, that's beautiful, hold that, good. Turn your face up to your right just a little bit. Let me see how that, yeah, right about there, good, hold that. Right there, beautiful, let me see. Ooh, what you see some of these, they look fantastic. Some really beautiful results right there. Let's run through a few of these poses. Hannah, take a look at some of those poses that you had that you wanted to run through in your phone. We're, gonna, we're gonna show you a couple of different poses that we want you to do here real quick. We're gonna do some sitting down and most of them will be standing up. When you're working with a new model, it's always a good idea to show some poses or ideas about posing that will help him or her visualize the look that you're going for. And that's what Hannah is doing here. All right, so is she gonna turn her face towards the light or what does the pose look like? Can you show me so we're both on the same page? Oh, easier. And then head position too. I think I want her, the more she angles the towards the light, the less shadow we get on her on her left side. So you, you might wanna Oops. more to that light over there. Yeah, uh -huh. just like that. Here we go, on three, one, two, three, good. One, chin up just a little bit, beautiful. The 
quality of the 85 is really amazing. We're right now in a studio environment. We're shooting at f8, and our shutter speed is at 1 1 60th, and the ISO is at, is at 200. And I'm actually really impressed with the focusing speed of the 85. It's pretty quick. I kind of like it. We're bringing in the fan. It's very exciting. It's going to add a lot of dimension to the picture. So the, uh, your eyelash work, yeah, your eyelash work on her is really awesome because her eyes are like popping off the page. They look really good. They're beautiful. I'm going to talk about the lens for a second. So, so at F8, just about everything is going to be sharp. And especially in a studio with studio lighting like this, these pictures should be razor, razor sharp at F8. And model's lovely. This is going to be great. My trigger for my Einsteins doesn't work with my EOS R. So what I'm actually doing is I've, I'm using the flash point here to trigger the flash. It's got an optical slave. So this flash doesn't have any effect on the scene at all. All it's doing is triggering the big flash. I think I get to get, get a firmware update for the, um, what is it, the policy buff TTF, TT1 or whatever. I should have captured that expression. That was great. <laughs> Beautiful. Hold it. Let me see. That looks really good, Maddie. Beautiful. Awesome. Turn your face and your body just a little bit more that way. Right there. Good. Oh, that's perfect. Hold that right there. Chin up just a little bit. Beautiful. Hold it. Awesome. Let me see. I kind of just want to give you an idea as to what it looks like, just so you can see. Just put your eye like right up here, like right there. It's probably me, but I actually really like the look through the viewfinder of both the EOS R and my Sony A7 bodies. So when I'm showing a client or a customer the image playback, I usually have them put their eye up to the viewfinder. It just looks so much bigger and brighter and nicer, in my opinion. Here, chin up even more. Turn your face a little bit this way. Right there. Hold that. Let me see. Right there. Kind of purse your lips a little bit. Look right down the barrel of the lens. I kind of just pierce into it. Like, look right through it. Hold it. One, two, three. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay, I think we're going to cut it right there. We're going to head outside. So that is the interior shot here inside the studio. Now we're going to step outside out in front and see what we can do out there. So good job, Manny. Okay, so we're in scene number two. We're outside in front of my studio, and you can see we have this long line of pillars behind me. You can probably see that pretty clearly through the viewfinder there. And we're outside with the EOS R and the 85mm f1.2. Now, you get a lens like this to shoot it at f1.2. Now, we're battling a little bit of wind, so we're going to be instructing the model. Her hair is going to be going all over the place. We're going to work with that as best we possibly can. Lighting, because you can see the light stand is getting knocked around. Let's talk about the lighting for a second. This is a Profoto B2 and it's attached to a Profoto off-camera flash beauty dish, which I really like. It's got the white insert, not the silver. It's a personal preference of mine. I like the way white looks. Silver's more of edgy inside the studio, but I like the way white looks outdoors better. And we're triggering it with the Profoto um, TTL trigger, whatever this thing's called, but this triggers the light right here. We're at f1.2, the Profoto set at a power level of six out of 10, and we're gonna start shooting. You ready? Let's do this thing. Maddie, are you ready? All right, let's do it. is lovely very nice okay so i think what we're gonna do now we're gonna head over to the field let's put her into a different outfit 
and we're gonna head over to the field. Just look at me real quick as you're getting up a little bit. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we're out on this field on location right now, and we are photographing into the sun. My model's on the ground here, she's being backlit by the sun, and we're gonna be firing these two AD200s from Godox. It's about 400 watt seconds of power right on the model. This will offset the, offset the backlighting of the sun. Once again, we're outdoors. We're gonna be shooting at f1.2 with the EOS and the RF 85 millimeter f1.2. We should be able to get some beautiful images out here. Bright background, sorry, bright sun, dark background using these trees is like a dark background front lighting with the double Godox 8200 so let's check it out All right, here we go Sorry, Hannah the Lovely and Talented, Greta, Maddie, Wayne, and I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography here based in beautiful sunny southwest Florida. And until the next time, happy shooting. Set. Good job, guys. It's a wrap. Good job. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. We're going to wrap up this review just a little bit differently than the reviews I've done in the past. This time, I'm going to sum it all up here at the end. First things first is the build quality. The 85mm f1.2 is beautifully built. It's sublime and amazing. It's built like a grapefruit and kind of feels like about as big as one too. It comes in at a whopping 2.6 pounds and that makes it a heavyweight, especially for a prime lens. It has 13 elements arranged in nine groups and there are nine rounded aperture blades, which when combined with this focal length and the f1.2 aperture, it's a portrait photographer's dream come true. It's beautiful. Canon says it has a weather resistant design and at this price point, it better be weather resistant. Build wise, Canon just crushes it. This thing easily earns a 10 out of 10. AF speed and accuracy. I used to own the old 85 millimeter F1.2 EF mount and it was plagued with painfully slow autofocus. It felt like you were waiting for days for it to capture focus. Now I'm not gonna say that the RF 85 F1.2's AF is fast, but it's competent. And for a portrait shoot, it's great. For fast paced action, I'd probably wanna get something else. Moreover, with the face detect, I found that the AF was reliably quick and deadly accurate, especially where it counts at f1.2. So for AF speed and accuracy, it gets an eight out of 10. Now to be clear, speed was a six and accuracy was a 10, giving us an average of eight. Optical quality and the quality of the results. This might be the single most sharp lens I've ever used wide open, especially for an f1.2 lens. It's incredible, I mean, really, it's incredible. It's one of the best I've ever used. If lenses were models, the RF85 would be the Sports Illustrated cover girl every year. It's amazing. The only real optical flaw that I noticed that actually mattered to me was vignetting wide open. But honestly, for the bulk of the portraits that I like to shoot, I kind of like some vignetting. But if I wanted to fix it, it's just a click away in Lightroom. Optical quality takes a tiny hit for vignetting, so I give it a 9.5, but the quality of the results are a 10 out of 10 easily. No doubt, it's amazing. Now lastly is value, and this might be the fly in the ointment for me, because I love virtually everything about this lens, everything. But I'm not a huge fan of the EOS R camera. For me, it's in need of some ergonomic improvements. For example, if I rely on the EOS R for face detect autofocus, it can be a bit erratic unless there's only one subject in the center of the frame. If I'm in any sort of mixed environment, the camera won't always focus on and find a face. It's a little bit odd. 
But let's focus on the lens. If I were able to attach the RF85 to a better camera, Canon would blow past Sony in my opinion because this lens is just brilliant. Unfortunately, what's holding me back from going back to Canon is the camera that I'm forced to attach this amazing lens to. That, and well, the, A the 85 is priced so high that it's kind of oxygen depriving. This thing's 2,700 bucks. Now, if you're a paid pro who makes a living on portraiture and, and you're assuming, as I am, that the EOS bodies are, are only gonna get better because the lenses they're introducing certainly give me the impression that Canon is committed to the new system. So anyway, it's an awesome lens with a meh camera. Still amazing and sublime results, but for value, kind of stuck because I feel like I'd have an even better experience if I had a better camera. If I made that clear? Anyway, for value, the RF85 gets a 7 out of 10. So overall, the RF85 f1.2 gets a 44.5 out of 50 and a recommended rating. As you can imagine, the lens is dragged down by its slower than average autofocus performance and its crazy high price. But the optics, in my opinion, are the best of the best based on my experiences. The final word, if you shoot portraits for a living and you're a Canon loyalist, optical performance simply doesn't get much better than the Canon RF 85mm f1.2. Sublime optics, accurate autofocus, etc. It's literally the prettiest portrait lens I've ever used, especially with regard to its results. I just wish Canon made a better camera than the EOS, EOS R to mate it with. Hopefully they will, and hopefully it'll be soon. I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography, and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a like, or better yet, subscribe. That, and let me know what you think about the live portrait shoot that we did in the video. And until the next time, happy shooting.